was a quick tour of the Port of Plata Airport. Once you arrive, you'll see these guys. So make sure you have a tilt ready. Then you'll come up this escalator. Uh, that's the money exchange. I wouldn't recommend the money exchange because the rates are much better if you just go somewhere in the city. Uh, there's only a few gates. I think it's four. This is my gate, uh, American Airlines. There is a duty-free gift shop. Have your passport ready. Uh, we'll take a tour through the gift shop right quick. They have local coffees, all the good rums. They usually have taste testings. Uh, it's a great coffee, Santo Domingo. There's the taste testing at the barrel here. Uh, they got lots of lots of good rums. Uh, White Hennessy was a favorite. I don't think they have it. These are the local products. Well, like I said, I don't think they uh, have the White Hennessy now. Uh, the great thing about here, they do have it. It's over here. More local products. Uh, the good thing about it, uh, they have great prices. There's the pure white Hennessy. A lot of people get it by the case. Uh, you can't take a case on the plane. Uh, they have all your Johnny Walkers. This is the good part. I like the copper, which is uh, the Cuban cigars. Uh, they have a great one with the white Hennessy. Uh, that's always my favorite, the pure white Hennessy dip cigar. And they do have some. Monte Crisco is good, uh, especially the platinum. But yeah, so um, we're gonna come out of there before I spend a little too much money. Uh, they have all the fragrances for the women, for the fellas. When you visit over here, a lot of people like, especially the women like the fragrances. Just, so grab some perfume, they have eyeglasses, candy. Uh, the watches are kind of pricey. <laughs> they do have watches. Uh, and over here, everything is real, so. <laughs> Whatever you buy, is going to be real. They have bags. Uh, and that's where you check out. So you'll check out here. Usually the line is long, so it wasn't a long line. They do have, like, souvenirs as well. The keychains are my favorite. Uh, there's a VIP lounge. I think you can pay daily if you want to stay in there. And it's about $25 a day. And you can wait on your plane uh, you can buy snacks sandwiches they didn't have tuna today so I didn't get one and if you can continue on there are several bathrooms located so there's two on both sides down here is usually not any gates but it looked like a people I've ate at this bar and I can't remember uh, it was a nice drink but I can't remember what I ate it's another bathroom fast food back here used to be open but I didn't like it at all a lot of people would uh, get it though hamburgers and I've never caught a plane back to Miami on this side I'm always on the other side but this is the entire airport from wall to wall one side to another very quiet it's not busy like Hartsfield not busy at all like the Atlanta airport. Here's your GoFresh, you grab what you like. I just grabbed a bag of those Flame of Hots and it was like $5 US. But we're on one end, we'll go back to the other end. Like I said, it's not that big. It actually looks like it's eight gates. I thought it was, on, no, 10 gates. I thought it was only four. There's a plane out there getting ready to board. They're boarding now. I give you a close up of the plane. I'm out of breath because I'm carrying this heavy bag and I got this mask on. There's the plane. And the good thing about the plane, if you're not too late, they will hold the plane and let you board. They'll let you board outside. Not like Hartsfield, once they close the door, you're not getting on the plane, or whether it's life or death. Oh, no. <laughs> So they do give you a little, one time they walked me out onto the runway, so I thought that was, that was great. I was an hour behind on my clock, and I didn't realize it. I didn't set my clock.
like I said, it's just a little bar. You can get something to eat. Uh, I can't remember what I had, but it was it was actually good. Hamburger. Very quiet. Uh, I just went to this corner bistro. She's very nice. She has the empanadas. We'll, we'll walk over there. But you can see it's not busy at all. They have fresh sandwiches, empanadas. Um, candy bars are like a luxury over here. It costs you about three bucks. <laughs> but in the airport, it's gonna cost the same thing. Now this restaurant, I'm gonna advise you. And now I'm not gonna advise you, I'm gonna warn you. I've ate everything out of this restaurant. And when I say everything, everything on the menu I've ate. And I just pass on it. I pass, you know my taste. So you can try it, but I've ate everything on the menu and I just pass. And they know it. Not even dessert and drinks, I just pass. But you guys can, uh, Eat at your own risk. I'll let you see the menu. They have breakfast. Uh, they have the local favorite Sancocho, Mofongo, uh, whole fish, but I've ate everything. Only reason why I go in there is to get a drink and use the Wi-Fi. The drink and the Wi-Fi, I've ate everything. And if you must disagree with me, get a hamburger. That's all I'm gonna tell you. Get a hamburger. That's gonna be my recommendation. So that completes our tour. Here's some of the prices for you smokers, cigarettes. We're not gonna fit, forget that. You can get them by the cartons. Remember the White Hennessy? Uh, it's not a big airport at all. So pretty much you're not gonna get lost or anything like that. But that completes our tour. This is where my plane is gonna be arriving. And even the quesadilla was, wasn't good. So I'm gonna just tell you guys, get you a hamburger. <laughs> and good luck and there's the bathroom but we're going to be boarding in a little while as soon as the plane comes they'll jump off we jump on you don't wait too long uh, make sure you grab a couple of these souvenirs support the locals that sell on the islands but because they actually sell cheaper than the uh, really it's just the same price so if you're going to buy from the airport you can buy from the locals on the island don't feel bad giving them 200 pesos for the keychain because you're going to pay that uh, same 200 when you come in here. All right, this concludes our tour. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, before I get a million comments, Porta Plata Airport. Porta Plata. This is one of the many airports in the Dominican Republic. But Porta Plata, the reason why I choose this one because it's a straight shot to where I live. Uh, 40 minutes away um, I don't have to travel too far from Santiago or Santo Domingo so Puerto Plata is my choice 40 minute nice ride to my destination that's why I choose this one you can go Santo Domingo Santiago and do a couple of more uh, minutes hours whatever to get to your destination, but you are close to Sasua from here. You are close to Sasua and Puerto Plata. So I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm not going in here. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Subscribe.